All right, on today's video, I am going to go over a jury stick. And basically what this is, is I arrange a tile on the floor with the spacers, the grout spacers in the tile. And then it gives me a measurement for the whole wall. So one piece, two piece, three piece, all the way up to however many it takes to be eight feet, which is about the size of from floor to ceiling. So to do, I have to do this because if I don't do that, um, then I don't know, you know, how the tile is gonna end up being on the wall. With a jury stick, I can make lines and set up exactly where everything is gonna flow. If it's gonna go in the niche and if it's gonna flow around it perfectly, there's no little pieces anywhere. You don't want to be left with a one-inch piece at the top before the ceiling, and then you know trying to fill that in with grout or some kind of crown molding, which just to me looks ridiculous. Anytime you see that at anyone's house. Uh, that person just didn't know what they were doing. Uh, so a good tile job is going to be one that a person takes time to set up uh, the layout. And you'll see at the end of the video that on my walls I have lines set up, center lines, half lines for the half piece of tile, uh, and they're just all over. So uh, here we go as the video for. All right, so here you see I have the tiles laid on the floor. This is about eight feet right here. And uh, I left some space in between each piece of tile. I'm gonna take my spacers. These ones I get at Lowe's, they're my favorite. And they have them in all different sizes. And I should probably get some new ones. So here they are in between the tile. And make sure that you, know, you have them butted up nice and tight. So I have my clipboard here and I write down all the pieces of tile that I have on the floor and then I'm able to grab a measurement with my tape measure and then I put it across all the pieces of tile and where I see the, the grout joint go through with the spacer I take that measurement and then I get it written down onto my clipboard And there you have the measurements that I need. And now I'm able to take them onto the wall from bottom to the top. I'll sandwich them in between. But you want to make sure that you take in consideration the bench and the niche. You want everything to kind of work around it. You don't want to be left with little slivers as we talked about earlier. So I'll take my tape measure and my clipboard. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, can't? All right, 88 and 16. All right, so I'm gonna have to measure that out and see how that flows. And then you don't wanna be measuring and it comes out to exactly that amount. You want it to just be kind of in between and you want to make sure that you have the measurement also for the shower pan that's going to go in there so that floor is going to come off two inches plus the three eighths of an inch for the shower floor so you want to make that mark and then you want to put everything in between and then when you're done everything should be perfectly on the wall there should be lines center lines and then that's the way you tile the bathroom and here it is. There are all my lines on the wall. I know exactly where everything's gonna go. No mistakes. And that's how I do it. Thank you guys, have a great day.